Explosions and fires have occurred near the Russian town of Belgrade. Local authorities say an ammunition depot is on fire and residents report hearing several explosions. Officials from Korsk and Voronezh have reported the activation of air defense systems. It is said that something was shut down in the sky near Baltimore Military Airfield. Helicopters, fighters, IL-76 military transport, 222 cubic meters and 295 strategic bombers have been seen in satellite images of this airfield. Nevertheless, this airfield is about 200 kilometers away from the Ukrainian border and there are no weapons in the Ukrainian armed forces that could strike at this range. There was also an explosion at an oil depot in Brunswick, located 100 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Local emergency services say the fire broke out around 2 a.m. and there are two sources of ignition, one in the oil tank. Information about the second source has not been disclosed, but social media users reported that an artillery arsenal located nearby was on fire. Picture shows the destroyed part of the railway, which seems to lead to the same arsenal. Most likely, the road was used to carry equipment and weapons for the war against Ukraine. The International Oil Pipeline lies exactly through Bronsk. Explosions and fires have occurred in Russia several times in April, including a fire at an oil depot in the city of Belgrade 40 kilometers from Ukrainian Kharkiv. The Kremlin troops that invaded Ukraine came from this area. Russians said the oil depot was struck with rockets by Ukrainian helicopters, but official Kiev did not confirm or deny this information. Research institutes in the city of Tver burned down, with the roof folding up and all the documents and drawings being destroyed. This institution participated in the development of a screening system for Su-27 and 2,160 aircrafts, as well as the S-400 anti-aircraft missile systems and the Iskander missile system. This is the same type of weapons that Ukrainian cities have been shelled from for two months now. There was also a fire in the small town of Korolov in the Moscow region, known as the space capital of Russia. Authorities initially did not report the fire, but the locals could see the column of smoke rising from the industrial zone. A similar column of smoke was seen in the town of Kinishmo where a fire broke out at the Demeter chemical plant, the largest in Russia and one of the largest in Eastern Europe. Additionally, forest fires broke out in Siberia, which is usually dealt with by the military and air forces. However, those who previously put out such fires have been sent to fight in Ukraine. The exact causes of most fires are not yet known and the Kremlin authorities have spoken of attacks from Ukraine, mysterious guerrillas, accidents, and careless handling of flammable materials. In April, the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation held a parade of ships in occupied Ukrainian Sevastopol and decided to launch a rocket during the demonstration. The launch was unsuccessful and the rocket nearly hit the firing ship, but it could have hit the crowd. Putin would have to pretend that the Ukrainian saboteurs got on board and reprogrammed the missile. Russian ships have a tendency to self-destruct, for example, the modernized frigate Marshal Shapashikov flaunted the launch of the caliber missile, which often strikes Ukrainian territory. The ship made a launch, and the rocket went up nicely, but for some reason, it began to spin in the air and fell near the ship. Imagine the crew watching its flight closely, probably as the soldier who shot the video. The Russian military were training to launch missiles from the S-300 complex, but after the launch, the rocket only flew 10 meters up before the engine failed to start, causing the rocket to fall back. 
In Russia, such cases occur quite often, and instead of hitting hidden air targets, the Russians are firing missiles at their own installations. While engineers will come up with new weapons, what can they do if the research institute burns down? No country needs weapons that mutilate and kill their own soldiers. These stories cannot be heard from official Russian sources, and instead, propagandists shoot stories about Russian weapons that have no analogs in the world. If you think they won't say that, listen to this commentator. Maybe he can convince you. Foreign nations have heard of the Armada tank, a new generation fighting machine that the Russians have been boasting about for several years, but for some reason, it is still not in service of the Russian army. Russians die in military exercises and destroy their cities and infrastructure. Such a desire to commit suicide may surprise a normal person, but they have become accustomed to it long ago. On the contrary, they are proud of their way of life and their president, who was repeatedly warned by world politicians not to attack Ukraine as it would destroy his own country. However, he did not listen and is now destroying his own country, as the commoners scream. Please stop the war. Please stop the war. Stop the war. Please stop this useless war.